Just 24 hours after his arrest, young Philly has been released on bail under strict conditions. He had to pay a $100,000 Australian bond and make a personal pledge. He's facing serious charges, including four counts of acts without consent, three counts of causing bodily harm, and one count of obstructing someone's ability to breathe. The charges came after a night out in Perth, where after performing at Bar One Nightclub, he reportedly brought a 20-year-old woman back to his hotel. Since then, young Philly has broken his silence, along with some of his YouTuber friends, but things aren't looking good for him right now. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video for all the details. The prosecutor submitted photos of the woman's injuries, saying no one could have consented to something that brutal. It's even been stated that the photos show violence way beyond what could be considered consensual. Fans have been gathering outside the court with one person shouting, Free Philly! The investigation is ongoing, and it looks like Philly might have to return to Australia for court, but it's unclear whether he'll be allowed to stay in the country or return to the UK. A close friend of his, Angry Ginge, reacted to the news on stream last night, expressing complete shock at Philly's arrest. Full chat, OK? First thing I'm going to say, mods, good luck at the minute. I'm not going to pretend nothing's happened overnight. I'm going to be open and honest, as I always am. Where'd you start? Um, four o'clock in the morning, I'm laying in bed, right? See what's going on on Twitter. First of all, I'm the exact same as you's. I'm shocked. Um, yeah, you know, mental, mental. Um, but he's now obviously involved in legal proceedings. I cannot comment on legal proceedings. Um, yeah, you know what it is. Um, mad. 17,000. I don't even get, I didn't even get this on GNT before it. Crazy. But no, chat. Um, honestly, I, I, I can't come out legal. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any future celebrity videos like this one. Despite the strange allegations surrounding young Philly, we still don't know if he's guilty. The court needs to go through its legal process, and in the past, there have been cases where women have lied. However, one strong piece of evidence against him is the alleged CCTV footage of the incident, which has been mentioned in several articles. Once this footage is presented in court, or possibly shared online, it could give a clear picture of what supposedly happened. Because being caught on camera is hard to dispute. Fans in Australia have been making odd comments about young Philly for a while, claiming he was behaving outrageously in clubs. There's even a wild allegation that he bit a girl outside a club. In another instance, a fan claimed that he asked them to guess how much money he made, and when they mentioned they had boyfriends, he insulted them, calling them dead tings. It's clear that his ego has been on display, but these new allegations are on another level. It's important to remember that he is innocent until proven guilty, even though many on social media have already decided he's guilty. We'll have to wait and see how the case unfolds. Even if he's not charged or is found innocent, his reputation may still be damaged beyond repair. Once your name is linked to such serious allegations, it can be hard to recover and his career could be over. He's been accused of R and four counts for the jiggy jiggy. But the most fucked up thing is nobody's come forward and tried to say, hey, he's innocent until proven guilty. I get why. These guys have millions of followers. They don't want to say the right thing and offend the wrong people. And me personally, I don't know the facts of the case. I'm not a lawyer, solicitor, whatever. Let the courts decide if he is guilty or not guilty. And the story goes, Philly had a concert. The girl attended that concert. They both left together. They went to the place where Philly was staying and the whole thing happened. They're saying the injury sustained was so severe they had to bring the charges against him. But then again, at the same time, they're saying, give us 100 grand and we'll release you on bail. I'm not even joking. He paid 100 grand, got bailed. Now he has to go to the station every single day and he's got to chill in Australia for the next two months. Now, from what I've seen of Philly, from my interactions with him, as I said, I don't believe that he's a type of person, but we don't know. We don't know the evidence ain't really come out yet. So please, for the time being, 
allow all the nonce talk. Billy's not no nonce. When I first met him, I met him on the ends. He's not no nonce. Secondly, if it turns out, just like Mendy, that he gets found not guilty, there has to be some form of repercussions. Because no matter what, this will always be there. After being charged and granted bail, young Philly is now required to stay in Australia for two months while the charges against him are investigated. It's likely he'll have to return to court. One of the strict conditions of his bail is that he can't contact the alleged victim or post anything about the case on social media, where he has 3.2 million followers. Police want him to remain in Australia because they consider this a very serious incident. The woman involved has injuries that suggest what happened in the hotel wasn't consensual. The worst part for him is having to stay in Australia for the next two months, which means for the rest of the year. He may also have to appear in court again, and if the case goes to trial, he could be stuck in Australia for a long time, possibly even facing prison if found guilty. Before we dive deeper into this video, what do you guys think about the situation so far? Based on the articles and videos made, do you think young Philly will end up in jail or could he clear his name? Comment below. You may have noticed that the Sidemen wasted no time cutting ties with young Philly. They've already deleted their popular 20 versus 1 Philly edition video, likely because of how serious this case is. C-U-T. Oh, here we go. It is starting to happen. The Sidemen have just removed their 20 versus 1 Philly edition and that video this morning had over 42 million views gone now and I'll be honest when this news first broke I thought it's gonna be really interesting to see who defends him and who drops him because young Philly is not some fringe content creator that brands you know don't want to touch and I spoke about this in detail in today's YouTube video highly recommend to watch if you want a longer you know summary of it but he has worked with some of the biggest brands in the world. I mean, he's got his own freaking hind sauce. He's got his own shows with the BBC, Channel 4. He's, you know, been in the Soccer Aid match. Um, he works with charities like the Prince's Trust. And that's not even to mention the friendship group that he's in. He's some of the biggest content creators in the world, like everyone in the Sidemen, the Beta Squad, Speed. You know, the list goes on. So what do they all do now when they start to get all this pressure from their customers and, you know, their fans to speak about the situation? I mean, it's either going to be a lot of silence or a lot of awkward videos floating around on the internet.